Earlier this year, some big news for fans of Sublime broke where the group announced they were going to be reuniting and they were going to be performing with their late frontman Bradley Knowles' son, Jacob. And he just made his debut over the weekend at Coachella and he's receiving rave reviews. It was really surreal to see him up there. He was playing his father's guitar. It was emotional for a lot of the fans in the crowd. And he truly knocked it out of the park. He's got an amazing voice. And I think this is very big for Sublime. I think a lot of people are really excited about this all. This is an interview that he gave very recently to people about this experience. So it says, late Sublime frontman Bradley Knowles' son Jacob on joining the band This Is My Family. And so you can see his father passed away when he was only 11 months old. Uh, he's now 28, the same age as his father. When he took his final bow, Jacob's making his official debut as Sublime's new singer at Coachella. Of course, tragically, he passed away just two months before Sublime's breakthrough self-titled record was released. It had songs like Santeria, Wrong Way, and What I Got, which broke into the top 40 and were all over MTV. They started a new group with guitarist Rome Ramirez. They called it Sublime with Rome back in 2009 falling somewhere between a tribute act and a distinct musical entity. And it blurred the line. It made Jacob increasingly uneasy, particularly as fans began to mistake the outfit for the real thing. He goes, I'll bump into people who tell me, dude, I saw Sublime play in 2014. And I'm like, nah, no, you didn't. It's very weird. There's only one band called Sublime and they stopped performing when my father died in 1996 despite this too common misconception the surviving bandmates have long made it clear the only way they'd consider formally resurrecting sublime was if jacob agreed to be a part of it tentative talks of a reunion had been brewing for the better part of a year but the turning point came when he dropped in at a phoenix theater while on tour last fall since getting crowded out of his father's gravesite by fans and tourists the empty stage has become his preferred place to mourn and so they took the stage on Saturday. This was the lineup through Coachella. There was also a little bit of controversy involving Blur set where you had no doubt you had Sublime there. So it's very much bringing in kind of a ska and reggae friendly crowd. And then you had Blur playing and they didn't get a very strong reaction. And I think this is one of those. In fact, they actually said they weren't going to play anymore. They're the ones who sing song two and all of that. But they had said they're not coming back because of this, because the crowd was really not feeling them at Coachella. And I think that's kind of one of the drawbacks to these lineups that are all over the place is a huge portion of the crowd may have shown up for these two acts that might not be interested in your music, might not even be familiar with it. That's just the way it goes down with these kind of lineups, but this is what that lineup looked like at Coachella. So you can see they have Tyler the Creator on there, Blur, Ice Spice, Sublime, Bleachers, Grimes, there's different stages as well for different styles of music. Listen to that voice. Listen to that voice. So that's amazing to see him up there and his voice sounds great. It's cool to see this is officially reformed Sublime. And so they, as they explained, Sublime with Rome was different, but this is actually Sublime. Um, and so he's up there performing, honoring his father's legacy and he made him proud for sure. Very cool stuff, and we'll see what else is to come with future dates with Sublime for sure. They say they're going to at least do a few dates a year, so I'm looking forward to that. That is your latest update here from Rockfeed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for the latest news and updates about your favorite bands.